Hi, I'm Mark Beaumont, founder of Lanagard. Um, just today we're just going to show you how to use the marine spray and the marine grease on your boat. Uh, not all the uses, just a few examples to give you an idea. Um, what we've got here today is marine, uh, marine liquid, marine spray, um, and marine grease in here. Um, and a few bits you might need for the bike, never know, really no PPE, obviously goggles mask if you're, if you're in a confined space i mean today we're not really um and uh, a couple of i mean it's kind of obvious really but this engine's in pretty good nick so i'm not going to be using a wire brush anywhere but you, you may need to consider a little bit of rust removal um the other thing is paint brushes uh, i use the paint brush because this grease is fantastic for warming up gently either very gently in the microwave or in some warm water or even in the sun and if you turn liquid you can use it on areas such as these and these are much more prone to give you a heavier coating so uh, i'll just show you how to do it from here hi mark from lanagard again just uh, we're going to treat the outboard um, with some marine grease and some marine spray so to do that i'm going to lift up the engine um, this is just a, this is an old boat it's 28 years old um, and it's in very good condition and i want to keep it that way so i'm just going to lift this engine right up so one of the things there's a problem is this uh, sort of bump stop cavitation bar there which is really rusted away so what I've done to treat this area here in the in the tilt and trim area power tilt and trim area I've just warmed this marine grease up in, the, in a bowl of hot water um, and uh, I'm going to use a, a brush so you can use this either with your fingers when it's warm you can see when it's warm it's it's basically like almost a paint so I'm just going to use it literally like a paint and I'm going to paint it on to the area that I know I want a really thick coat on because it's uh, really quite bad and it's prone to rust like so and you can see within just a few seconds it will it will solidify again and be nice and, and hard um, and I'm just going to come around and do that bit there you can see there like that and uh, Anywhere else you think is bad, you know, you can see in here, look, there's little bits of rust forming. So I literally use it like a rust cover, really. Um, before I spray the whole lot, it's a bit like a sealer. You can see there, it starts to go hard pretty quick. Of course, it's cooling down again. So that's the only bits I'm going to do with, with the warmed up grease. And then I'm just going to spray the whole lot. Um, I found a little bit there I want to do. There you go. So that's that job done. <coughs> and now we're going to get the spray. This is the marine, marine chassis, the marine spray as we call it. Um, turn it on and basically just going to coat the whole thing. So I'm going to have to have the engine up and down and turn it around for that as well. Get the spray. And you can see here what I've done, I've cleaned this before starting this video. Just gent uh, cleaned it with a you know, soapy water and let it dry. You can see how easy it is to do. I'm just literally, as you see under there where I've already greased, I'm just going to cover that grease as well. It's fine to put it on the push rods as well, don't worry about that. Um, these are the push rods. And get up from underneath, just get everywhere you can, like so. Don't worry about any bit too much on. We're going to wipe it down in a minute. <coughs> So that's this one side. I'm not going to do the case. I'm going to do the case separately in a second. <coughs> I do do the propeller. And it actually does help quite a lot with uh, its marine growth off as well as um, keeping it from corrosion. I will do that. Just finish this whole engine. Push her over. <coughs> Pretty windy today, so hopefully you can hear me, but it's um every now and again it's not so windy so you can see from the spray and of course if you're in an enclosed environment enclosed area you're probably going to want to be using you know, a face mask and uh goggles like so so i'm going to put the engine down um put the engine down and then I'm going to uh, just do the top and I'll just wipe it all over the engine and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so just, just quickly 
just this is just so I can reach it easily. I'm just going to spray over that again. I, I wouldn't go be too worried about how accurate you are. Once you sprayed the whole thing and you're happy with it, um, this is where the good old mutton cloth comes in because all you're going to do, you can see it's, it's, it's not super heavy but it's quite heavy, I'm just going to wipe over it and just make sure it's got an even covering because you actually don't want much on it. Like so. finish it off down the bottom leg um, here you can see it doesn't need to be that thick at all just a nice even coating So that's the boat engine done and uh, all the other bits on the boat. Uh, we haven't covered everything, but you can of course do all sorts of bits. You can use this grease as a lovely little polish just to keep everything from uh, tarnishing on all the shaft, what do you call it, shafting on the boat, fixings on the boat, things like, you know, hinges, lubrication, if you've got a, a concern about any of those corroding. Um, so now it's all done, as you can see. Um, you can also do the boat trailer, which I've already done with the boat trailer care pack, which is a two litre pack and a trigger spray. Um, so now it's done, uh, the benefits for the boat are um, it, it's anti-corrosion, anti-seize for any parts that have seize, um, and jet wash resistant, salt resistant, acid and alkaline resistant. Um, and uh, it will also... Um, prevent um, marine growth on the uh, on the propeller to a degree um, so it will help if you're leaving your boat in the water for short periods of time so that's very much that's that's it thanks very much indeed.